All right, today we're talking about the oblique tool and I've got 32 counts here. I've got a couple lines of performers. I'll show you what it looks like. And um, there's some, some interesting little uh, things that are packed into this little tool here. Uh, the oblique tool looks like this. It's mostly gray, kind of up and down with a little red dot in the corner. And you'll notice it's similar to the follow the leader. It kind of gives you the leader you pick um, clicking on the leader, red dot changes the leader, and you can change, you know, who who leads which line, uh, that sort of thing, uh, which is nice. And again, just like the follow the leader tool, it has a stride, but there's a little bit of a difference that I found that um, could be pretty handy, um, and that comes in the form of this uh, thing here, which is uh, max stride. Le you you kind of choose left and right or up and down. Um, you can choose um, a, a stride there and then a stride as well uh, for an alternate stride for when the performers move forward and backward is kind of how I, I see it. So say you wanted these uh, performers to all follow the leader down, down this way, but then on the angle, you wanted them to um, go to you know, a, a direct 45 degrees and land on the grid kind of two by two rise over run well that allows you to do it now if you did this using the follow the leader tool they would stay in a two-step interval from here to here so it wouldn't look like they end on the grid so this tool allows you to animate it without having to go back and use the you know adjuster tool to move everybody to be on the 45 perfectly uh, on the grid two by two, you know, that sort of thing, the 2.82 step interval. So that's kind of a nice uh, difference that I've noticed or something that, that's, that's different. Plus, uh, what's also nice is you can kind of choose your stride and it will show you a kind of where, you know, you should end up if you use those different strides. So you're creating forms, not necessarily based off of um, you know, where you want to go, but you're basing it off of how to keep a good stride and a good pace. So this now animated uh, looks like uh, this. So they, they do eight to five across, and then they take a little bit bigger stride on the way down. So the oblique tool can be kind of handy uh, when you want to make sure that everyone is, is going from, you know, that on the grid two-step interval to you know the perfect 45 still on the grid it's a little bit bigger than than a two um you know and animate it properly so that's kind of the biggest um you know one of the biggest differences between using maybe the follow the leader tool to do something like that um also built into it packed into it are kind of the usual mirroring options so um you know say you wanted these lines to go uh, opposite directions. So right now they're gonna both go left where you've clicked. Um, you can change that to where you mirror it. So you could make the leaders the opposite directions and then they're, they'll mirror the other way. I'm using the alternate stride here to make the, uh, you know, the, the, the path bigger or the step size larger once they've taken the, the turn or they've reached the 40 and they start marching down the oblique, they will take a bigger step size, that sort of thing. So, you know, you want to play around with it and see if this is the right tool for you or if you would, you know, like to create your transition using, um, you know, another tool like the follow the leader tool, which will give you a similar result, but probably a couple more steps than just this one. So play around with it. The oblique tool has a lot of cool things packed into it. So I hope this was helpful to you. Uh, please like and subscribe to my channel if you like these Pyware videos.